Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and welcome to the first video in the projectile motion series. And so we're looking at just the patterns of projectile motion. So um, look at what projectile motion is, and, and then we'll look at these patterns. So we'll start with a quick video. Uh, this is from Dan Meyer's blog. He's a math teacher in the States, and he's throwing a basketball. Okay, so the video we're just going to pause there, he's only taking pictures of the first half of the throw. What's happened is the software is actually um, taking a picture every split second, we're going to say every 0.1 of a second, and, and stack them on top of each other so you can see where it goes. So this is an example of projectile. Projectile is something thrown, um, something that rolls off uh, a cliff, something that has some sort of sideways movement, but also um, gravity is trying to pull it down as well. A rocket would not be considered a, a projectile because it's got a sideways force forcing it to speed up in that direction. So uh, projectiles, basketball throws, we had um, uh, someone kicking a football here, um, also considered a projectile motion. But we'll look at this, um, this basketball throw here and I've put a grid line on here to help me um, draw some lines. And what I'm going to do is with a ruler, draw a line through the middle of the ball um, downwards. So there, I'm going to do the next, for the next one and for the next one, and then for all the rest. Uh, so the photos of each ball, remember, is taken on an even scale, um, and I'm drawing these lines down here. I'm going to now draw lines acrosswards as well from each ball. So there's one, another, another, and I'll do all the balls until we've got them all. So now we're looking at patterns. What do we, what do we see here? What do we notice here? And the first thing is... Um, the vertical lines, the first lines we drew, they actually describing how far the ball's moving horizontally. So it's a bit complicated. They're vertical lines, but we're looking at the gaps between them. And the gaps between them talk about how far the ball goes horizontally every 0.1 of a second. And the, the lines that we drew crosswards, they actually are looking at the vertical, how far the ball's going up. If we look at the gaps between those every 0.1 of a second. And so what do we notice with those gaps? Well, the horizontal gaps the ball travels the same distance. Those gaps are basically the same size gap every 0.1 of a second. So that tells us that horizontally, the ball's traveling at a constant velocity. Vertically, those gaps are getting smaller and smaller. There's a decrease in the gaps as we get higher and higher. So that tells us that the velocity is changing. And we have a name for changing velocity, and that is acceleration. So this is basically the main law of physics you have to realize in this idea of projectile motion is that we can look at the ball moving through the air and think about its horizontal movement and its vertical movement separately. Its horizontal movement goes at a constant velocity and its vertical movement, the velocity changes, which is what we call acceleration. That's the main physics. The rest is, is mainly just maths. I'll see you on the next video.